Uh, question to let Ross the Messiah from was up to the penis. Uh, what are the ways to use Kalamba, and uh, Tagi? So, Miss Bulacan means Kalamba, and that is Kalamba. Okay, so to talk to him, I mean, Perdina on the Matin Bangladesh, you know, we. Para sa iyong tatlo, so isa isa na muna, i-rank nyo nga, ano yung importante? Uh, una, intelligence, figure, height, um, confidence, or yung, uh, ano ba yung, uh, yung beauty. Yung beauty is a face term. So, ano yung uh, top three sa inyo sa inyong mga mga mga? Okay, so for me, top one is of course the beauty, that's why we are joining a beauty pageant. And the second one is of course the intelligence, how can we influence people if you don't have the brain that could um, that could share the positive values and of course the things that you learn from your family, from your friends, and, and, and the third one is of course um, our dedication. Well, those are the choices, sorry. You know, uh, figure, the height. And the uh, confidence. Okay, so third one is of course the confidence. How will you be able to um, to bring your beauty and your intelligence if you don't have the confidence? So that is the third one for me. And the other one is of course the height. The height is something that um, that will make you stand out from the other candidates. Uh, three and three. Uh, okay, <laughs> three. Stop, sorry. Okay. So para sa yung hindi importante, uh, less important the height and the uh, figure. Yes. Okay, next. For me, the most important is beauty, which is the inner beauty, because it is the reason why we join this pageant. We should we should reflect our inner beauty to others to help them. Second is the confidence of how you portray yourself to the other people and how you influence, inspire them, to empower them with your advocacy. With my own advocacy. And the third is the confidence, because as you stand out with other people, for me, the top three is um, intelligence, figure, and last is beauty. Number one is intelligence because advocacy is a very important thing. First of all, I joined this pageant in order to reach out to people and share them with my advocacy. Second is figure because I believe health as well. And last but not least, beauty. Because beauty is in the eye of the beholder. We are all beautiful in our own ways. Thank you. Okay. So you know, when I'm talking to you, I think if you join these three together, you get confidence. Okay. How about the height? <laughs> well, it depends if it's required for the passion. Anyway, you're wearing heels. You are. Yes. <laughs> so, most preferred to have girls that uh, you're no longer wearing heels and you're walking like normal people. Instead of uh, enjoying the pages, the corner of the legal of Kailan may be used to get him to the house. Are saying you are not going to put that in the house, the game of the house, or you normal that uh, as the everyday walking shoes happen? Well, for me, if you're comfortable in wearing heels, then that's fine. But for me, I feel like when I'm wearing heels, I'm more confident and I feel more powerful. But maybe that's just me. For me, I'm a sneaker girl who, who is prepared to wear shoes every day. So when having a pageant, I wear heels to gain more confidence. Well, for me, it doesn't matter what you wear, whether you wear heels or sneakers, as long as you walk with confidence, that is good for me. Thank you. Thank you so much, ladies, and thank you, sir. And now let's hear from Aspinas. Okay. Um, let's hear from Miss Christmas Filipina Aspinas. All right. I just want to ask, how do you prepare for this project? Um, to be honest, I was at first like really not the type who would join me because I was at first I was never the type who have, who would have joined the project. But then I thought like if I would if I were to be more confident, I would have the potential to be able to like inspire people. So. 
really want to just make confidence that, like, prepare for this. Thank you. All right, well, for Mr. J. Pata. Yes, good uh, afternoon, yes. ladies, and good luck for the finals on this day. I would like to ask uh, the five ladies in orange. Five ladies in orange. Five ladies in orange. Okay, exchange that. Okay, so you have color and south. Yes, ladies. I'm going to say, what is the number of traffic in uh, I know that uh, you, I thank the menu for making it, uh, given the, the traffic situation here. So I would like to ask, to, to be fair to everyone, uh, I'd like to ask each and every one of you to please introduce yourselves, which you were not able to do earlier on. So good afternoon, everyone. My name is Janine Rochelle and I am from the past. Hi, my name is Naomi Elise Gloria, and I'm from Pagancas. <coughs> Jana Garcia, Kalokan City. Hi, Mabuhay, I am Shari Valencia Manalo, 22, from the home of the one and only Tinindag Festival, Taisan, Batangas. Hi, I'm Aisha Lina Espiritu, 23 years old, from Kalokan City, but I am working in Tagay City as a software engineer. Okay, thank you very much, ladies. All is fair. Yeah. For X. Congratulations in advance. Uh, how many candidates will be here at the final? Ano yung mga activities niya? Ano yung mga titles sa final? Uh, what are the prices for the candidates? Some of the winners. About the prices, uh, internal discussion for the meeting discussed with the candidates. Uh, the activities, internal for the meeting discussed with the candidates. There are some changes for the candidates. We have a plan for this promotion in Georgia Luzon, in Pampanga. We have an event in Batangas. To be scheduled uh, after the uh, press call, we have uh, discussions for the candidates. The title of the candidates will represent to for uh, three international titles: Miss uh, Global International, which is in Jamaica held, uh, Miss uh, Capital ASEAN in uh, Vietnam, Miss Tourism uh, Universal Passengers in Vietnam with. Uh, the National Director in the Philippines in Cervantes, Salvador. Uh, our resident designer, uh, Miss South International, and then you uh, know for your international title, then apat paga lalabay niya. And then the uh, ambassador to South Visayas, and then wala na po ako wala na. Then di ba lang ibig sabihin then tour city tour in Manila, I skate tour, which is we will promote the some tourism spot uh, like Papu Park, yung mga under na the development of the uh, city tourism in Manila. So we need to, our commitment to, to promote the, the host city under the administration of the mayor's government. We have 40. Five candidates, uh, on the way, nandito lang sa itang biyahe kagabi, yung Kalba, yung uh, Kalba, yung Kalba, yung Kalba, yung Kalba, then yung Kalba, yung hindi lang naka, nakadating ang dala sa family because of may mga immersion sa student ng karamihan sa kanila. Kaya ginawa ko po, pinagsama-sama ko na yung event, ang major event sa isang weekend para hindi na hassle sa mga candidate ko. So, mag-aanda na yun. Pero sa Park Tourism Promotion, uh, sila kasama na pati rin sa Park Tourism Promotion. Yun po ang nagpapasalamat din ako sa mga media, media friends natin dito na poor support sa inyong uh, ano. Uh, 
Alright, thank you so much. So, next one, we're going to do this. Alright, the time to the Havel Nagak asked the questions. See, Mrs. Tami Tamayo, Assistant Director of the Manila Tourism and Cultural Affairs Bureau. And she would like to ask Ms. San Juan La Union first. Okay. Hey, ma'am. Good afternoon. Yeah. Uh, my question is, how would you give it a chance to get the title, okay, to be crowned as Miss Turismo Filipina for 2019? How would you strengthen the, the rural tourism area? Thank you, ma'am. Um, for me, all the candidates have the same beauty, have the same talent. But I think I will be crowned here in this pageant, Tourism of Filipina 2019, because I have the eagerness to promote my country, to promote my country, our country rather, and especially to our tourist spots here in our country. I will promote it, especially for those tourist spots na hindi pa po natin manidiscover. And for me, um, maaari po natin matulungan ang ating ekonomiya sa pamamagitan po ng ating mga advocacy. Ngayon naniniwala po ako na hindi lamang po sa physical nakikita ang isang beauty queen. Dapat ang isang beauty queen ay may magandang puso. Sabi nga nila, be a queen with a good heart. Thank you. Alright, we also have our last candidate in the a uh, candidate from the city of Manila. So, Simon Barney from Gas. about the beauty of tourism and such as tourist spot. I wanted them to appreciate the nature and I wanted them, I can also help by also pursuing my advocacy, which is I wanted to have the three hours, which is to reduce your suicidal, to always be aware of the environmental, to always give things and always give, um, to always give um, observation of the awareness of our environment. So, there are such stories spot here in Manila, such as Manila Sudan already had been locked out attention. So I wanted to help it to make it more noticeable to other people that there are things that here in Manila can be also seen. So that is one of my advocacy. I wanted to give um, attention to our nature and to nourish it and to also help the community to always um, join advocacies. Yes. Oh, we have one last question. Miss uh, Manila, uh, we have a chance to talk to him. We have a chance to talk to him. What three other uh, three uh, suggestions na gusto mo pang sabihin sa kanya para mapaganda ang Manila? So this pageant is not also about the beauty, it should be who 
package, which would be holistic. So if I would ever have the chance to talk to him, I would also, as a, as a teenager, because I know I'm not fully grown, but I wanted to be matured to help our community. So like um, joining advocacies and promoting like our awareness of our environment. So if I ever get the chance to talk to him, I wanted to give him um, a message that would also promote tourism, which is what our uh, what our pageant stands for. So like I could I could give awareness and also give importance to our environmental awareness and biodiversity. So that is one of the things that I noticed that um, Manila City could also have improvement and to have sustainability environmental community. That is all. Thank you. Okay. Next suggestion, three. Three suggestions. Um, yes, by promoting the advocacy, which is one, the three R's, which is reduce, reuse. That is one of the basic and one of the most important things that we should learn. Because um, youth nowadays don't have the um, don't have the knowledge to um, throw things like the three R's, which is. Okay. Where to put the plastic bags and where to stay like also plastic bag can also cause a um in floods and that is one of the cause of floods and that is why I wanted it to be aware of our or where aware of our environmental health and community. Thank you. All right, so thank you so much to our dear media friends for so, how is it feeling, Miss Batangas, um, having in front of the press being asked a question? <laughs> I know how it feels. Alright, so definitely, ladies and gentlemen, this is the reason why Autorismo Filipino candidates are here because we would like them to be presented to the press and also to the people. That's right, Father. I have here. The, the envelope, our results, yes. our uh, as, as we, selected by our press. As we said earlier, whom do you think will become the darling of the press? All right, let's start for the second. Second runner-up. This is for darling of the press. Okay. All right. So our second runner-up for the darling of the press is. Drum roll, please. <laughs> okay. I set up the drum roll just a while ago. Okay, for our second runner up, she is no other than Turismo Filipina San Fernando City. Congratulations. Congratulations, Mr. San Fernando City. Second runner up. That's for darling the press. All right, so I have here the first runner up. That's it. Like it's already a combination night. <laughs> Our first runner up is from the province of. Is it orange, red, or yellow? It's actually province of Isabella. Congratulations! Is it Kabaga, right? Yes, it's Kabaga. Alright. So the first runner-up for the Darling of the Press. And finally, the Queen of the Press, or the Darling of the Press. Right. These are the, she is the candidate who stood out and also showed the best performance for today and impress our media friends. Okay. And she will be awarded by our tourism officer from the city of Manila. That's right. But before we announce yes. the darling of the press, we have a special award. Now. We have a corporate award coming from La Senta. Yes, uh, and to be awarded by La Senta. Okay. Mr. Christian Flores from Sound Train. This is Mr. La Senta. Ah, sorry. Mr. La Senta. Turismo Filipina La Senta. La Senta. Oh, okay. So. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 